Hey, folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's live trading action video. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here. Today's date is Monday, April 11th, 2016. Well, folks, take a look at the market today. This is the intraday 10-minute chart. This is today right here. This is Friday. This is Thursday and so forth on the way back. Now, what you saw today was a gap higher and a push higher initially before a rollover in the markets. And then since then, in the early afternoon, we've kind of floated back up just a little bit. What's the cause here? What's the root cause? Why are we getting these volatile moves? here almost every single day you're getting a big gap up in reversal and at some point almost every single day you're getting some sort of reversal the answer is simple and I want you to remember this going forward because it is important extremely important it's all about the dollar yen the dollar yen has been basically falling off a cliff and every time the dollar yen falls off a cliff before it bounces the markets roll over and what I want to show you here is the dollar yen USD JPY chart and this is actually the intraday but notice how you trade the dollar yen overnight as well so this is really a 24-hour chart so if you look at the market today here's 930 right here okay right here so if you look at this remember the markets initially opened higher and then pushed up and then the markets rolled over and we're looking at the dollar yen chart now and then since then, in the early afternoon over the last hour, hour and a half, the markets have gone sideways to up. The dollar yen has also gone sideways to up. Do you guys see that? So essentially what I'm telling you here is that the markets are tracking this dollar yen chart really to a T. Really to a T. Okay, and again, notice here, here's where the market opened. And the markets went higher. The dollar yen went higher and took the markets higher. Then the dollar yen rolled over. And again, if we flip over to the spiders here. Here's your rollover in the spiders, the S&P, and then the spiders floated up because the dollar yen was floating neutral to higher. All right, so really this is important, folks. Now, one thing you want to pay attention to is if we go back to the dollar yen real quick, this is kind of an inside bar pattern. So, again, USDJPY chart. Let me get that up for you here. Type it in correctly. This is actually an inside bar bearish chart, so it's got to make you wonder if either later today or tonight this dollar yen chart's going to roll over significantly. And I want to show you the daily chart on this as well because that's important to look at. Take a look at the rollover recently. And again, this is it's interesting because the dollar yen rollover has been tremendous. Look at this huge rollover and then choppy sideways inside bar and then this huge rollover here as well. So this is getting a little out of control, and you know, my speculation is that you might have a black swan event with Japan. I don't think people are, people aren't talking about it. You turn on CNBC, they're not talking about what's going on in in Japan right now, but it is actually getting a little bit precarious, a little bit scary there. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is the next kind of big epic issue going on, and I think the dollar yen is beginning to tell us just that. This is very very key here, guys unbelievably important so going forward i want you guys to be focusing in on the dollar yen chart keep an eye on that as it will dictate the price action in the markets if the dollar yen bounces i expect the markets to move up if the dollar yen falls markets should move down and keep your eye to the or ear to the ground watch for issues out of japan i think it could pop up very quickly and create a black swan event and black swan events essentially mean something that triggers a big market sell all right guys enjoy Come join us at InTheMoneyStocks.com. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you there. Seven-day free trial to the Research Center is where you want to be.